Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Young Guides Podcast YouTube channel. On today's Wednesday video, we're going to be going over how I cook uh, my salmon in the oven. Um, we're going to be cooking a silver that I got last year uh, up here in Alaska. And uh, this is a quick, easy recipe. This is one that Emily and I really like. Um, it's very minimal. You really only need the, the four things that you see here on the table. So uh, with that, let's get started. First off, um, I'm going to get some aluminum foil. I'm going to pull out a piece um, a little bit bigger than um, the filet I have right here. Section about this big. I'm going to lay it along the bottom of my cookie sheet. And then my filet, I'm going to go ahead and cut out of my freezer bag. And when I was flaying these fish, I was cutting them to about the right size portion for both Emily and I to have. I like to cook one piece and we can pretty much eat it uh, in one sitting. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I'm going to lay it skin side down. Now this piece I didn't really take out of the freezer soon enough. Um, so it's going to be a little frozen still, which is okay. Um, I'll just leave it in the oven a little bit longer and um, it'll thaw out as it's in there. So skin side down, the meat side up, beautiful silver salmon filet. This one was caught pretty close to the salt. So um, should be really great eating. We've had several of these fish. So fillets on the table. Now I'm going to take my uh, avocado oil. You can really use any oil that you want. Um, Emily and I really prefer to use uh, avocado oil. I'm going to go ahead and try not to get salmon slime all over it. I'm going to go ahead and open her up and I'm just going to dribble, pour some avocado oil on that thing. There we go. Get quite a bit on there. And then, and then I'm just going to take my hand and kind of rub it over the filet so it's all covered. It's okay if it's there along the oil because what's going to happen is when we're done adding our seasoning we're just going to fold it up in the foil. So it kind of put it in the oven on top of the, the cookie sheet to catch any drippings. Um, but otherwise it's pretty much just going to kind of cook and kind of steam and, and uh, hang out in a little foil pouch. Last thing we're going to do to this filet is we're going to use um, an onion soup mix. You can get any kind of onion soup mix, name brand, store brand, whatever you want to do, but just a package of onion soup mix. Open her up. If I can open her up. Got a pair of scissors. Now I'm just going to sprinkle that over the filet. Make sure it's all covered. And I've used like half packets and stuff, but it's honestly more of a pain to have a half packet of onion soup mix just laying around. So I just use the whole thing, kind of pat it down. Now that that's covered, I'm just going to, I, it really doesn't matter how you do it. I just kind of pull it up, pull it over on itself, like a hot dog fold, I guess. Take the ends, fold them down. This one, the filet is a little bit wider, so I can't really close it up perfectly. I'm gonna close it hot dog, and then roll up the end. Maybe, actually I'll fold this one over, I think. That's probably the best bet. I'm gonna fold it over so I can really try to seal up that foil as best I can. I don't know what, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna roll it up. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to roll this end up, but since this thing is still open in the middle a little bit, I'm just going to take another piece of foil. And lay it down on the bottom. Lay the filet inside. I'm just going to fold over the top of it again. And then try to seal that up as best as possible. That way, we won't let any of those good juices or steam escape. Hopefully that'll hold it in a little bit better. And that's just because this, this specific filet was just a little bit uh, wider than I was anticipating. But it's all good. That is our 
silver salmon filet wrapped it in foil. Uh, it's got a little bit of avocado oil in there on the filet itself and a packet of onion soup mix. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the oven at 425 degrees for probably 25 minutes to a half hour again. This is a little bit frozen still, um, mostly thawed, but I, I can definitely tell in the middle it's still a little, little frozen. Um, so I might have to go a little bit longer. We'll see. Once I get to about that 25 minute mark, I'm going to go ahead and open up the oven and I will check the meat to see uh, its progress. I'm looking for the meat to start getting flaky. It'll maybe dull a little bit to a little bit of a lighter shade of pink, but I should be able to pick out with a fork and it should be able to just flake right off. So um, we'll go ahead, put it in the oven, and we'll show you guys the end product. So here is the finished product. We have that salmon you guys watched me prep with the onion soup mix. We got some asparagus and some instant rice. That is the meal all finished up and ready to... Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode. Dinner was great. That was some dang good salmon. And uh, we're super stoked to hopefully fill the freezer with more this summer. We appreciate you guys watching today. If you're liking what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're going to have more videos just like this one dropping. We do some fly tying tutorials on our YouTube. And of course, we drop the podcast episode on our YouTube channel every week. You can also listen to us on uh, other podcast platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Or you can even listen to us on our website, theyoungguidespodcast.com. On our website, we also have links to some of our affiliates where you can get some discounts on their products. You can also learn more about Keaton and I and our backgrounds. And we'll even link back to some of our guests and their information, whether they be guides or they work in the industry. We'll link back to their information so that you can learn more about them or even book a trip with them yeah, in the future. That would be greatly appreciated. Also on those other podcast platforms, if you could leave us a rating and review, that would be great. It'll help get the word out about what we're doing. Share us with your friends. Let people know that you're enjoying the Young Guides podcast content. You can also follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. You can give us um, a like. You can comment on our information or even send us a message. We really appreciate hearing from you guys. And if you know somebody or if you are somebody that wants to be featured on a future episode of the podcast, let us know. Keaton and I are hearing messages several times a week from people um, that want to be on the podcast and we're scheduling them on. So if you want to be heard, if you have a story or if you uh, want to talk about your guiding experience or your work in the outdoor industry, let us know. Shoot us a message. We'd be happy to talk to you. With that, appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you on the next one.